Good morning, folks. I'll really have to earn your clicking the like button today as there's a ton of incredible top stories. We do have another episode of the Catastrophe series coming in a few hours. We'll begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day was relatively quiet. No solar flares, no sunspots. We do have some small dark coronal holes turning through. The only eruptive behavior of the last day occurred on the northeastern limb. The filament we peaked at yesterday got anxious, lifted, broke out, and had a southern half of the prominence slide back down into the sun. Remainder pulled into the polar region. The solar wind elevated slightly overnight. It is the impact of another weak coronal hole stream, which is why the third impacting solar wind wave in seven days hasn't even pushed the KP up out of the green. Top weather story is in New Zealand. Death, damage totals, and footage are coming in from a horrendous rainstorm that lashed the southern island. Bridge was no match for the floodwaters there. You may have heard that President Trump signed an executive order on EMPs, and while this touches the cybersecurity issue, it is also a follow-up of two of Obama's orders on space weather that demanded a focus on space weather EMPs, with the structural side of the story being nearly identical. Couple new amazing planet discoveries. First, a stormy mega-Jupiter with silicates and iron in the atmosphere. They have done some of the best orbital imaging on this object ever, and some of its sister planets. The other planet found is a hot Saturn. This is one of the best detections yet from TESS, the new super planet hunter. Both links worth checking out. Same group that yesterday gave us that interplanetary magnetic field connection paper is back at it with cool prominence features in the photosphere and corona. Dang, who are these people? If you prefer the less condensed side of things, we also have a paper on the hottest plasma in quiescent active regions. But now we move to our top three stories and this is not good for dark matter. First, there is now utter confirmation that the galaxy without dark matter is real. They're saying that galaxies are not supposed to be able to form without it, and their mystery-solving problems just got harder, but did so while also taking its version of an IRS audit, except the cosmic rays are the IRS here. Either a new cosmology is needed, or a massive modification to the existing ones. And last but not least, an absolute genius just debunked dark matter mathematically. He does not cite Birkeland, Alphane, or Peratt, and the words plasma, magnet, magnetism, magnetic, electric, electricity, etc. are not found in the entire paper. The idea is that the global effect of everything we see does have effects at grand scale, and the missing mass problems of galaxies, for example, would be all the matter all around the galaxy in every direction plasma universe. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Just a few hours and we'll have Randall Carlson on the Catastrophe series. Don't miss that one coming up around lunchtime on the East Coast. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.